Claudia Alexandra Colas, and I work uh, with Fugit Soundstage. We are a nonprofit in Seattle. Um, I'm a community organizer, uh, which means that when we have campaigns, my job is to um, go into the community. I've been working on the airport workers campaign here at SeaTac, so I've talked to a lot of people who work at the airport, um, understanding what their uh, but the problems that they have at work and what they wanted to see as solutions and then brought those conversations to places like this, like schools or churches and helped organize um, community support for the workers. And if you've seen the posters, which I'm sure you have, it's um, that campaign um, turned into uh, the Yes for CTAC campaign, which is, oh, yes! <laughs> You guys watch it? You see those people who are laying in bed with a tube down the throat and a machine hook to them? Those scenes. So I am a respiratory therapist and I work with all those kinds of machines which are called mechanical ventilators. Some colleges still accept you based on your SAT scores and uh, your GPA right away and that's called um, admissions index. They look at the number and if you fit that number then you're automatically in. But there are other universities out there um, with UW being one and other ones uh, where they actually look at the entire U context. Um, it's called a holistic review slash comprehensive review and basically they they look at your scores but not just that. They look at who you are, what you've been um, a part of and um, they look at your essay because that's where they get to know you. Grants are basic, basically free money for you to use in college to pay for your stuff and they, they have a lot of scholarships and yeah it, it just helps to pay for it so it shouldn't be a big factor 